Okay. <clears throat> hey, everybody. It's me. I'm here. Hopefully, hopefully everything is coming through all right. It looks like the audio is coming through all right. It looks like the video is coming through all right. There's the audio turned up all the way, but I don't want to do that. That's probably very bad for all of you people there, so I apologize for that. If that caused a problem... Anyways, hi! It's me! I haven't streamed in a while. Let's see. If I sit here, how's the... I can't adjust the fucking zoom or focus or anything. on this damn camera. Uh, okay, apparently I could actually fix it. But I think it's a bit too late now. That's... If I turn it that way... That's a little better. Alright. Switch this shit over, and bam. Seems to be okay. Hey, everybody, we're doing some Final Fantasy XV Comrades, the multiplayer expansion today, because I really like it, and it's kind of a chill game where I can just talk shit the whole time. Now, there are problems um, with, with uh, what you can see right here, which is the uh, server name and online stuff. It is an online multiplayer expansion for Final Fantasy XV, and I've put like four or five hours into it, and as of yet, I've not been able to actually connect to other living human beings, because um, I get a server error every time. Uh, now, it's been about a, a week since i played, so hopefully they've done some updating, and hopefully I'll be able to find some people to play with, uh, but it's a pretty fun, pretty cool little expansion to this game. I enjoy it a lot. So, hopefully, you all will enjoy watching it. Um, I feel like Final Fantasy XV... Final Fantasy XV plays pretty good. Like, the combat is pretty alright. Um, it's basically a better updated version of the... Like, Kingdom Hearts gameplay. Um, and so, I, I don't know if I can say that it is more fun to watch than to play because I enjoy playing it but um, it is cool to watch like my daughter actually loves watching the game then again she loves seeing you fight giant monsters and everything and that's basically what this big expansion is is just like here's a bunch of missions no open world just here's a bunch of missions to go out and fight monsters um which is I don't know I feel like a lot of these uh, Japanese games coming out that have multiplayer in it are very close to like Monster Hunter style gameplay and with uh, Monster Hunter World coming out um, you're going to be getting a lot more of that but um, I'm having fun with this so there's a, a point in the story in Final Fantasy 15 where 10 years pass and that's when this expansion takes place Basically, the apocalypse is happening and blah, blah, blah. There's my guy. He looks like, uh, he kind of looks like Clive Owen, to be honest. And I screwed up when I made him because he's got this big, gigantic ass. Like, look at his big ass. He's got a big ass. My guy's got a big ass. Anyways. So, you've got your hub world here. And in the hub world, there's places to buy clothes, customize, upgrade. And the objective of this is to... Restore a power grid to the entire open world. Now, as you can see, I've played quite a bit of it, and I've actually restored power to at least one major outpost. I think I've restored it to two. Yeah, I've restored it to two major outposts, and the main mission that you have in the beginning is to restore it to, I think, four? But, oh, yeah, it's right up there in the top left. Restore power to four major outposts. Um... And the way you get power is by completing missions, um, uh, completing missions, uh, doing hunts, fighting demons, blah, 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 blah. So, 
Here's where we're going to see if I can actually connect to people here, because I'm going to try and do the daily, uh, which is online only. Now, if I do have a problem and I can't do the online stuff, that's fine, uh, because you can use AI um, allies to play the regular hunts and everything like that. Um, excuse me. Which we'll probably end up doing at some point anyways. So here we go. Fingers crossed. Xbox Live. Searching for players. Yeah, I'm playing on Xbox. Unable to join. A network error occurred. No. Alright. Server offline. Can I... I don't think I can try to reconnect to a server from here. So, fuck it. I guess we're not playing with anybody. Which is annoying. So, we've got missions in different areas here. Some areas of which I haven't actually gotten access to yet. Uh, what level is my guy? I think my guy's like level 13? Yeah, my guy's level 13. Um, the recommended level is kind of, for these things, is kind of... Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Very forgiving. Uh, because I've completed a lot of these. Like, I completed that one when I was, like, level 8, I think. Um, and you are incentivized to do the missions over multiple times because uh, you get items that you can use to upgrade your weapons into much more powerful versions of the weapons you have. Um... Oh, I don't know if y'all can hear that, and if you can and it's annoying, yell at me. But um, I've got my heat blasting in my house today. Let's do this thing. I've got heat blasting in my house today, and hopefully that's not too loud or annoying, but I can turn it off if I really need to. So, since we can't connect to a server still, we can at least um, use AI companions to complete stuff. Which is nice, you know. Woo, we did it. I did it. I'm the best. Not really. So, the gameplay is just just the Final Fantasy XV combat applied to a different thing. Uh, I haven't played with other people, so I haven't seen how well it works with other people. Um, but uh, having AI companions is uh, quite nice. Or having access to that, because like in my case, I can't play with anybody because I keep getting these goddamn server issues. Um, which I've never not experienced. So, you have this little tent you hang out at. Oh, as everybody's loading in. You have this little tent you hang out at before uh, every mission, and you can grab uh, items here, which can be used either for food. Uh, yes, I know how to do the thing. Which can be used for food either right after the mission or used to basically quick revive yourself. Um, and I grabbed something that is not good for quick reviving. Because <clears throat> um, I'm hoping I don't need to be revived. I'm hoping uh, the characters are leveled well enough. Alright, so we have to escort this truck. You can do it! So what I like about these escort missions, you can just... Teleport onto the truck. Um, I'm using a crossbow, a really decent spear, um, and an incredibly powerful mace. It's actually the most powerful weapon weapon I've seen in the game so far. Oh, my ass got knocked down. Holy shit. And I'm confused. Okay. Heal myself. Alright, let's switch over to the spear. I really like the spear gameplay in this multiplayer. Uh, because it gets... Oh, and of course, because I'm... Arr, do it. Get them all. Yeah. So I'm confused, so it keeps switching between stuff, unfortunately. Just getting my ass handed to me. Can I pick that up? Yeah, I got the full chief die. Confusion is annoying, and hopefully I won't have to deal with it too much. I keep getting my ass handed to me. This is a...
Hopefully it'll be fixed soon. Right, we need to cure... Yura. He was all standing perfectly in the back of this truck. So anyways, what I was saying is that there's, um... The, uh, spear's really good because it's basically built out of teleport attacks. Fuck. Why are they so good at kicking my ass? Fuck you, you stupid little... Damn bird. Confusion reverses your controls, too, so... Yeah. So just by pressing a direction while doing the regular attacks, I can actually control where uh, my guy teleports instead of having to use an actual teleport attack. Yeah, I blocked that Chickatrice's attack. Didn't do very good for me, but... Damn it. Am I confused again? No, I'm not. Come on, he's almost down. There we go. These things suck. <laughs> Alright, we gotta get in there. Uh, listen to this. Oh, shit. Fucking three of them. So these things can uh, turn you to stone. Damn it. Camera angle is not great. Next time we're back on the... Next time we're back on the truck, I think I'm going to buff my team here. Because they got a lot of debuffs on us right now. Yeah, get those blindside hits in. So, if you get a perfect parry on an enemy attack, uh, you get to do a bunch of crazy warp stuff that you don't normally get to do. Yeah, you're dead. Alright, here's my stupid cheer attack. <sighs> okay, there's the cheer. I just cheered on everybody. We got this. Which hopefully will buff everybody enough. Put more of these damn things. I want to take care of the little ones first. This poison is annoying, but it's not too terrible. Shit! It got me! No! No, it's sitting on my face! Woo! These things are fucking trouble, man. I'm not gonna turn my headset down. Oh, of course I'm confused again. That's fine. Switch me to my strongest weapon. Alright, I think we got this. I mean, I know we've got this. Problem is all our teammates are getting assassinated to us. There we go, that one's down. Almost there. We beat that one. Hey, that was, uh... We did it. 
Do my stupid cheer for no reason. Yeah! Yeah, look at me, I'm Clive Owen! I'm the best! Doing this! It's stupid. <laughs> Alright, that wasn't terrible. Hopefully y'all enjoyed that. Because there's going to be more of it. Oh, wow, I did the most damage by an order of magnitude. I did more than double the next person, which is kind of crazy because normally Nelly... There's only a few creator... There's only a few AI companions they made, and Nelly's one of the good ones, and she does a ton of damage. Hey! So she cooks for us, which is cool. What you gonna cook for us? Show me. What you got? The food porn! Blazing Brazed Gizzard. Increases experience points by 30% and increases item drop rate by 30%. Hell yeah. So you can bet your ass I'm jumping right into another mission. Rations can satisfy one's hunger, but only a proper meal can yeah. So one thing I noticed on this game that I never noticed before is, uh, and y'all can see it very clearly on the screen, uh, the picture from the game, the video from the game, does not fill the full screen uh, just because the original Xbox is not um, as powerful as other systems. So instead of doing like what Evil Within did and just like, like letterboxing the already wide screen so that you can see that much across your whole screen, they just bring the screen in a little bit, which is kind of super annoying to me, to be perfectly honest. Oh wow, those are really good. I'm never doing that again. I don't want to deal with basilisks. That sucks. I don't want to do it. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to deal with that shit. And I know y'all don't want to deal with that shit. But one way or the other. Oh! Another thing that's kind of annoying on the Xbox version of this game is the load times are fairly long. But uh, that's okay because you have the little webcam of me over in the corner. And here I'm helping. I'm helping. I'm I'm showing you that I can do the do 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 do. Look at me. I'm entertaining you. Are you entertained? I cheated on my wife. That was that was mean. That was a crack at Doctor Disrespect. Whatever. Anyways. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, the the loading is kind of annoying, but it's not. No, this is pretty bad. It's pretty fucking bad. I apologize to anybody watching, dealing with the loading screen. Oh god. Ah, oh, Almost there. We're almost there. Okay, we're back in town. Alright. So we could turn that in, and we did get some electricity. Basically, you get fuel for the reactor that's in this town, uh, which is why this is your main hub. Um, but I want to hang out, and I want to grab... I want to do more I stuff. Bales of Bandersnatch, it's too much for me. Alboro, or Arms from Adachio, Cursed Coral. I don't know how to pronounce that. We are going to do... What's this? Looking for food. Gracious Vermin are eating. Protecting a shipment of rations. We've already done an escort. Uh, there's a good... There's a good... This one. I'm gonna hunt some big ass animals. Hi, Cosbox, what's up? Thanks for coming out to the stream. Thank you. Let's go exploit this 30% experience buff, shall we? I think I'll show off the uh, crossbow a little bit in this one. Because the crossbow's pretty decent because it keeps you out of harm's way uh, but the damage output even at high damage is not very good um, however for like inflicting status effects and stuff like that it's really good because it hits a ton all right everybody's popping in I don't need a meat tin for this I know that for a fact no I don't want a can of fish give me like some agar root that works all right so all our AI comrades are in let's depart Here we are in a loading screen again. Welcome to loading screen the shit. 
knocked over my water. Welcome to loading stream the str screen the stream. There we go. That's a mouthful. It's all good. Just sit back and enjoy this blown out video here. Why is there hobgoblins in this? I'm not used to there being hobgoblins in this. Whatever. All right. All right. So. A lot of these weapons have like a weird secondary attack that's based on you starting and stopping an animation. So in the case of the... Damn, that thing got fucked up. In the case of the crossbow, when you like go to put it away and then put it on again, you start charging up an attack that does a ton of damage. But the real point of the crossbow is I just did like 10 shots right there. So if you have a weapon that does like poison or stop or something like that, this has a much higher chance of actually causing the status to proc, um, which can be really good for playing together with people. Oh. Which, as you can imagine, would probably be really good for some of the more difficult fights, which I will attempt one by the end of this. As for now, I'm just grinding out a bunch of stuff. Yeah! I got the parry. So, oh wow, there are hobgoblins in this. I don't remember this. I wonder if that's because I've done this a bunch of times? I'm not used to that. Let me tell, I'll tell you what. Come on, let's get some back attacks in on them. These hobgoblins are actually rough. They do a ton of damage. So the fact that they're getting thrown in here is actually really interesting to me. So obviously I'm a couple levels higher than this and I've got a, a pretty good spear equipped here. So I can take these guys out in like one one combo or less, which is all right. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hit it. Smash it. Create a character. Smash. Smash large animal. I actually really like all the hunting games that have been coming out of uh, coming out of Japan lately. Like Monster Hunter, the 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 Monster Hunter World is going to be absolutely badass. I think I'm looking forward to that and playing it with a bunch of my idiot friends. It'll be fun, I think. As uh, anybody in the chat, uh, anybody in the chat, perhaps have uh, like a PS4 and uh, played the beta yet? Damn. Stuck on that carcass. There we go. Damn, dude. Alright, let's, uh... Damn. I switched over to my heavy weapon. <clears throat> because it can one-shot these things when I charge it up all the way like that. Like, I'm not very far in, and it's a weapon that can do 9,999 damage. Which is... Kind of awesome. Yeah, look at that hit. Thing is ridiculous, man. Alright, we got more enemies up here. Oh, hey, the boss has appeared. With its big, adorable little trunk nose. Damn. My character's moves are so sluggish with this giant thing. That, like, yeah, I can basically two-shot stuff. But, uh, it doesn't end up being helpful sometimes. Yeah. Ah, oh, damn it. You got caught up on the body again. There we go. All right, so this is the big one and the last one we want to hit. Come on, don't move, don't move, don't move. Yeah, full charge. Only did, like... 32. Shit, we can do it, though. The good news is about these bigger guys is they don't do any status effects. They don't do any status effects, and they don't do a ton of damage. So they're fairly easy to, like, actually take down. Also, if you can get the blind side with these uh, crossbows, you can do a fair amount of damage. 
That's actually not really that effective, so let's just get back in there with the spear, shall we? That makes sense. Uh, about the trailers and betas thing. Um, I tend to stay away from betas just because... Like, not because I don't like them, but it's like I'm well past the point of being so hyped for a game that I need to download an unfinished version of the game to play it. Um, I think the last game I downloaded... Oh, I should probably heal myself. I think the last game I downloaded a beta for was the original Destiny, and I was so unimpressed with that whole fucking beta. I think it just turned me off of... Oh, you're telling me I wasted a bunch of bandwidth downloading this shit? And... Like, great, I can wait. But the stuff I've seen of the Monster Hunter beta seems like it's a... <laughs> he fell right on one of our free ends. It seems like a really good update of the 3DS games. Um, and I've been wanting to play those since I played, like, the original one on PlayStation 2. So, I'm excited. Hey, is the audio alright, by the way? You can hear the game audio alright, but not too loud. Hopefully. Hopefully. I hope so. That would be nice. That would make me a happy boy. What systems? Sometimes good. Yeah, it's good. Okay. Hey, I did the most damage again. Probably going to do one or two more. Actually, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. Um, I want to look at the power grid and see if I can't send any more power out anywhere. Because there are tangible benefits to sending it certain places, like you get special rewards. Um, outside of just completing the mission. Look at the mushrooms, yeah. Actually, that looks pretty good. The fried one on the left there. A big fried mushroom cap. That's yummy. I like me some fried mushrooms. I like fried anything. Shit, you fry it, I'll probably eat it. One can't wage war on an Look at how happy we are that we killed all those large animals. Hey, it's the apocalypse. I guess, you know. Celebrate what you can. <laughs> That's one thing that kind of bothered me about the main game is basically right before the end of the game, the apocalypse happens, and um, then there's a ten-year gap, but it never seems it never seems to be that big of a problem. Um, like once you get back in, it's like everyone you care about seems to be okay, but the rest of the world is fucked. But you don't get to see too much of the rest of the world, so they're kind of like, whatever, and they don't actually let you venture out. So, you know, what are you going to do? Um, but uh, I was worried with this, because they're like, it takes place during that uh, part of the game where they just skip over a decade. And it's like, oh, that's, uh, you know. Like, it doesn't seem as dire when you're actively fixing the problem. Especially when you're running around with a ton of bros. But whatever. I'm not going to complain too much. What boost did I get? Is it in info? No. Actually, is it in gear? Nope. Okay. Alright. Let's see about sending some power. Any bright ideas? Alright, so this is a really good place to spend 4,000 kilowatts. I couldn't have done that from the other way. Because that gets me a person. And fashion sketchbook. Huh. And that one gets me just 4,000 gil. So let's send power to those little outposts. Right. I can't talk. Outposts there. The clothing shop has expanded its inventory. So, when you expand outposts, you can find refugees and they can band together and start giving you tangible benefits. Um, like rewards, like uh, timed rewards and stuff like that. Something made it safely to Maldaccio Hunter Headquarters. Quetzal Slaughter. 
I don't know what that is, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna get it, and we're gonna do it. Oh, hey, another person, too. Sweet. Let's do it. A new multiplayer quest is now available. Another hunt. Alright, let's grab another person. I want to get people. Like, I do actually want to get people. Okay, they're at Aldaccio Hunter HQ. So once I get one more refugee, they'll band together and then they'll start giving me tangible benefits. Eventually, I'm going to have to work my way across here. Uh, the Cothus Depot is probably going to be the next one, so I'm going to need 8,000 plus, I don't know, probably 12,000 there. And then I got to work, uh, I got to work the electricity chain basically all the way across here and uh, down to Golden Key, uh, which we'll do here eventually. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. What you got, Iris? You got new stuff, right? Conversationalist. I don't care about any of these. These are like cool emotes and stuff you can get, but I haven't been able to play with anybody, so. Alright, we got hair. Uh, that's new, and that is new. Oh, hey, it's the little uh, pixel chibi main cast things. That's cool. Um, I think the character customization in this is pretty cool, because, like, it doesn't hurt that the characters look fucking amazing, and you can make some absolutely awesome-looking characters. Alright, let's go take, over, uh, take a look over here. Talk to Viv here. Uh, they take photos. What is that person doing with their hand? <laughs> I think they're about to do their thing. Oh, well, that's a good photo of me. Look at me being all badass. I'm like, I've got my entire fist jammed into that chicken. Which is not a sentence I expected to say today. <laughs> I really like that they carried over the photography uh, thing here. Oh, hey, look, it's me cheering. I look constipated. Fuck it, I like that photo. Hey, look, we're happy. Okay, there we go. I've got more photos. All right, let's see. Are there, is there, oops, let's go around here. Do I have any rewards pending? I don't think so. No donations received. Okay. That's okay. That's fine. We do. A, I think it's mission-based and not time-based. So once you do X amount of missions, then another reward shows up. So let's go check out that new one. Quetzal Slaughter. I can barely keep up with you. Quetzal Slaughter. Yep. I was... Oh, shit. 30... Nope. I can't do that one. <laughs> uh... Fuck it. Let's fight the Midgar Swarm. I love the enemies in this game because they're just giant animal crossed with other animal in most cases. But like the Midgar Swarm are there. That's a callback to the uh, the Midgar Zolum, which was the translation of it in Final Fantasy VII. Um, that's a major obstacle to your party in the first eight hours of the game. Um, probably less if you played it more than once. Uh, but I really like that. I think it's a cool callback. Um, and it's pretty fun to fight, actually. So, you know, we've, we've got that going for us. But if I remember correctly, it is a tough fight, so I am going to grab some shitty E-ration here. And uh, then we'll head out and fight. Also, apologize for the frame rate. I'm playing this on an original Xbox One. You know, the, the $500 model that came with the, the the Xbox One Kinect back in the day. I mean, this version didn't come with the Kinect. I bought it like a year after it came out. But um, the uh, Xbox One X is apparently much, much better in terms of uh, frame rate and the uh, up res. Stab the damn thing. Yeah, there we go. So these things are no problem to fight right now. The music in this game is awesome, too, um, I should mention. I love this audio track. I think this is from one of the uh, one of the expansions, the, like, episode something. I played episode Prompto, I own Ignis, and Gladio, um, those episodes. Um, haven't played them yet, though. Um, 
I hear that Prompto's is probably the best with Ignis's episode in a close second and Gladio's last. Um, but I really like that they have, they have, where did he come from? Uh, they have guest, um, guest composers. And one of the reasons I'm really interested in episode Ignis is because my favorite JRPG composer, uh, Yasunori Mitsuda, who did the, uh, did the soundtrack for Chrono Trigger and Xenogears, which is a game I'm doing a full LP of over on my YouTube channel, which you can find uh, below, uh, is the guest composer for that episode. And um, you can absolutely, like, I listened to some of the, the soundtrack just to, just to see what was up with it, and you can definitely tell it's his style, um, which I can appreciate. Because he's done, he, he hasn't, he's done quite a few amount of games, but not many I've played since Xenogear. Actually, since Xenosaga. The first and second one I played. Beat the first one, never beat the second one. Uh, the pacing issues in the second one, like the first one had horrendous pacing issues. Uh, the second one had worse, and it was, it just became too much for me. Oh, uh, they drained all my MP. We're doing pretty good. Although, that debuff is kind of annoying. I think I'm going to throw a buff on everybody here. Yeah! I'm going to just sit here and do my dumb screaming. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, shit! They knocked me out of it! I didn't get all my buffs off. Damn it, I didn't get that block off in time. Alright, time to switch to the heavy one. Damn it! He was too far from me. I don't know why I'm always doing the... There we go. Yeah, look at that. Come on, get in there. Hit him. There we go. There's a decent hit. That'll be the end of that one. This thing does so much damage. I just hate how slow it is. It's, uh... Borderline impossible to hit heavier enemies. Oh, there it is! Look at this big fucking thing, and it just pfft, flops down on the ground. I love it. This is actually a rough fight, but if it moves slowly enough, I can sit here and just beat the shit out of it with my big hammer. Yeah. Oh, I couldn't block it in time. I'm stuck in the attack animation. Yeah. Let's try a buff again. See if I get my... Oh, I'm gonna die. We're gonna die here. We're gonna get eaten by this fucking thing. Did I block it in time? I did! Yeah! And I countered it! Yeah! We got the chain warp! Yeah! Now it's just jam on the Y button and do crazy chain attacks. Oh yeah, I saw that. Uh, I saw that update. I haven't played the main game since that came out, but I'm really interested to see how it is once I get to it. And we are kicking this thing's ass. Except I'm now in stasis. I can't believe I actually managed to counter that uh, that attack. Yeah, hit it. Yes, fuck it up. God, I am one shot. Look at me. Oh, save me. Thanks, buddy. Get a good charge hit in. Yeah. Almost 10k damage. So these things, I mean, it makes sense for a multiplayer game, but uh, these things were bullet sponges or damage sponges in the... Oh, hey, we got it. These things were damage sponges. The bigger enemies were damage sponges in the main game. But it's uh, it's bumped up to, like, the nth degree in the multiplayer. Uh, which makes sense. I mean, it's one good way to get as much... Words I can't think of. Uh, to get as much replayability out of the multiplayer as possible. It's just, oh, it takes about 15 minutes to take down some of the bigger enemies. Even if you're a higher level than it. Just because... They all have 10 billion experience. Or, kill me. They all have 10 billion 
hit points. <laughs> ah! Half dead. Damn, once again, more damage than the entire rest of the team combined. That's fine, though. With that hammer, this the my guy is, is designed to just, just crush. Crush puss. Yes, I'm a fucking child. I know. I apologize. To everyone. <laughs> I did make it back. Now feed me! Man, she's not going to be able to make much. What you got? Mushroom again. Item drop rate. Whoopee. Alright, let's see. Oh, I gained a level the last time. There we go. We got some more good stuff. Some more good upgrade items. We'll take a little look at uh, item upgrading here in a second. Here. Here. Don't you know? Let's see what time is. 10.49. How long have we been going for? About 45 minutes, okay. Doesn't feel like 45 minutes. And again, this game sucks up a lot of time. Which is a good thing. I found myself much more much happier with the with the base game than I expected to. Granted, I picked it up like a year after it came out, so it had a lot of the patches. Um, the later chapters where you get railroaded, that was fixed. So you weren't railroaded through the whole thing and you could go back to the open world if you wanted and a bunch of other stuff like that. Um, a lot of that was fixed by the time I played it. but And and there are serious issues with the story and 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 uh, the way that the characters are, are given to you because like they just dump the characters in your, in your lap and you don't really get backstory on them uh, the way you probably should. But you still get fairly attached to the characters that you play with and overall I feel pretty, pretty damn good. Did I get all of these? Did I buy these? Let's see. Do I got, got some of that? Do I got got? Do I have something that'll be good for leveling up lightning attack or lightning resistance? Probably not. 7% for a storm shard? Why did I fight to get the storm shard? So, if you look on the, the, the item properties down at the bottom, Chizuru, um, there's a little bar underneath the lightning thing that's highlighted. If you fill that up all the way, by the time you get the item to its maximum level, uh, the item will transform into a more powerful version of the weapon. Um, which is important. Uh, because that's the main way to very quickly level your character stuff is by leveling up their equipment. Let's look for more lightning stuff. Coral whiskers. Damn. It's got me almost halfway there, and it's barely half level. That's good. Doing good. Good things are happening. Also, there's Sid. Hi, Sid. How you doing, Sid? How did I miss that the first time? Alright, where's the next lightning thing? Thunderbomb fragment, okay. If I jam all of these in there, how close is that going to get me? It's going to get me pretty close. So we'll do that. The fact that you can um, basically evolve weapons by upgrading them the right way um, adds a lot of depth to... Shit, that's not enough. Okay. Uh-oh. Alright, I'm not going to be able to upgrade it right now. Probably more bomb fragments is going to be the way to go since it gives less experience. So I'll be able to, like, just barely get it there. Right, heavy lance. I'm trying to upgrade this damn thing. Alright, two and one. I'm getting kind of worried about upgrading this one because I don't think I'm going to be able to get the uh, the thing up in time without something that really highly upgrades both strength and defense. There's strength. There's a lot of strength, but no defense. There's a lot of defense. A ton of experience with that. We got something to worry about. 
740. See, I want something with low experience but high stat gain. Cockatrice Crest. Still not good. I might have to try reinforcing this weapon all over again, basically. Which isn't that bad, because I can just go buy another one of them right here. In fact, I might do that. You want weapons? We got lots so that's what it started from. It started from Javelin. Proceed with purchase. Hey, one of my buddies in the should probably turn that off for the stream. Yeah. I mean... I don't think it's that big of a deal. If y'all think it's that big of a deal, just scream at me and I'll fix it. Alright, so I guess I will show it off really quick. Or show off how the weapon evolves. Because I'm going to jam all these motherfuckers in there. Maybe I'm not. Let's start with something that does a lot of defense first. Also, I cannot do this if this is annoying to y'all, because yes, I am just sitting here min-maxing stats. So, you know, my bad if you don't like that. Huh. Let's go back to the Garla Tusks. Will this get me there? Yeah, that'll get me there. And I mean, uh, I'm going to use all of it because those stat bonuses will carry over and hopefully I'll be able to level it up uh, better now. Alright, so now I have another Heavy Lance. That's... Let's see. Oh shit, I still have a Garilla Tusk I can jam into this thing. Yes. I'm hoping that I can actually hit this thing. I know once you get later into the game and you have more missions, you can get more stuff that will do this faster and better. Well, not necessarily better, but faster. Right, that'll help a little bit. Let's keep Undaunted on there. I, items have special abilities uh, that can be carried over when you're upgrading weapons. Alright, I think we're going to leave that one alone for the time being. It's still not as good as the other Heavy Lance, but I feel like it's in... Yeah, it's in a much better position. I feel like they both have to be at 50 by the end of it. So I have to think about that when I upgrade. Oh, this was another one. You find anything good out there? Ooh, yeah, this'll do. Okay, so that's up all the way. Let's put Stop Touch on there. Hell yeah. Screw Finisher. Where is a good one for defense? There's a good one for defense. The problem is it gives me too much experience. Okay, we fucked around with that enough. Let's uh, do a couple more missions here. Let's do the new one we unlocked. I Wait. Great things on your horizon. That was one we unlocked. Which one was it? I can't remember. It's all slaughter. We can try this. These things can kick my ass. Um, they are incredibly powerful. Um, they have one attack that they tend to spam. The corals. They have one attack that they tend to spam... That hits an area around them and does like 90% of your life bar. 
So hopefully we don't have to deal with that too much. Using characters that do like a lot of um, magic is a good way to deal with them. So I might try that a bit. Um, but you definitely want to either fight them ranged or... There we go, load them all in. You definitely want to fight them ranged or find some way to... Excuse me. Uh, disable them, which is difficult, especially at this lower level. Hopefully I'll be able to do it, though. <laughs> Gutsco! <laughs> Owned by Berserk Corporation. Nelly. Gave up baseball to play rap. Yeah, you heard me. <laughs> God damn it. All right, time to fight once the loading happens. Which I thought we'd gone through all the loading. Maybe we did, maybe we didn't. Let's go. Here we go. So, this one's annoying because you have to fight four of these some bitches. What is that? Oh, yeah, I gotta fight the Gigantoads first. I forgot. What hit me? Was it his tongue? I think it was his tongue. I think it tried to roll over on me. Actually hitting that, uh... Actually hitting that diving attack is really satisfying. And the fact that once he jumps into the air, he gets a little boost towards the, uh, the enemy he's fighting is, uh... Fun and satisfying. And my hope is that between my character's buffs and being a little higher level than I was the last time I tried this damn mission, I should be able to just squeak out a victory. Alright, there's another one down. Stab you right in the ass. I'm going to pick up that thick frog... Oh, shit. He got me. I'm going to pick up that thick frog leg later. Alright, I'm going to use the fact that this guy is here right now to buff. Because once the corals come out, it's fucking game time. Let's see. Let's get that charge attack in. Oh, it's fuck. It's dead. Sweet, we got it. There's one, there's three, or four. I think there's four. It sucks. You take out one, and you're like, yeah, we did it. And then three more show up. Come on. Come to us. So, that ranged attack is good, but it has kind of a shotgun effect. So sometimes you're... you're Incentivized to get in there and actually hit the thing on the ground. So there's a very heavy attack. So far, this is better than the last time we tried this. These things can also heal themselves. Which means if you can't seal the deal on one, you might be stuck for a long time. And yes! Knock them down. Make them vulnerable. Alright, let's get back and heal a little bit. Shit! Okay, sweet. That wasn't too terrible. Oh, God! Well, I picked a bad time to do that. Now I'm fucked. Thank you! Alright, which one are we going to fight? We're going to fight this one. So, you can't really tell your AI guys what to do. Like, you can't tell them to focus fire. So, it kind of ends up being on you to actually...
I'm trying to move around as much as possible. Yes. Yes, this is going well. This is not going well. I don't have any MP. No, 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 no. That one. No. That one. That's healing. Oh, and it just somehow straight up killed me. So, let's see. Can I use my... I can't use anything. What the fuck is Gutsko doing? Look at him. I think he's waiting to support me. And I'm down again, aren't I? Yep. Shit. Help me. Let's see, does that work? Gutsko is glitched out and stuck in midair. So this is going poorly. Why am I returning to Lestalem? Damn it! I fucked up. You only have to kill two more of those things. Ah! So there's only three and two show up, and that's where the problem begins. Damn it. Okay. We're not trying that one again for another ten levels and another... Shit. Three weapon upgrades. Also, I think I'm going to get rid of that cheer uh, attack, or that cheer buff, and I'm going to switch it back to um, a different blessing I have, which uh, is like a super heal, which is the first one you get, but is really useful. Um, it's nice that they give the super heal buff to... Um, new players because it makes them instantly useful because all they have to do is be within like 30 feet of their allies and they'll heal them twice as much as normal and get all of them and I think I think it takes care of status effects too I could be wrong I can't remember so there's your fail state you end up sitting on the bot on the ground woo we're sad all right Wanderers, Sage. Oh, there's a problem. Uh, it lowers my attack and defense considerably, but I think we might be okay. Alright, let's get rid of this fucking Onikiri and switch to the Chizuru. It's much better. It's actually attack 139. It's actually almost as good as the Heavy Lance. Um... The katanas are good for burst damage. They do a lot of damage in a small area right away. But they're not as mobile. And you don't get like a longsword type weapon in this. Uh, let's fight this big ass thing. It's a big lobster. Oh, fuck up the big lobstery. Two percent. Let's get the loading going. <sighs> Is everyone enjoying the stream? I hope so. Huh. Okay. Alright, that was a quick load. Hopefully it'll be quick getting us into the fight also. No, I didn't. Damn it. I didn't want to grab the mystery meat tin. But, I'm just jumping the gun, trying to go fast for the strim stram. Strimming, strimming, strimming the strim stram. It's okay. It's not too bad. Alright, let's try out this sick lightning katana. Okay, we're doing a fair amount of damage. Yeah, that's not too bad. Granted, these things are like right on my actual level, so... Oh yeah, switching away from that one thing lowered my hit points, or lowered my attack and defense considerably, but this is still alright. Like, look at this. I'm actually doing very good. I'm also the only one who's really taken damage at this point. All of these guys are getting fucked up. That's good. This is good. This is what we want. 
Oh god! Giant lobster! They have big ass heel. Fresh liver. Yeah, we're taking that. Let's get in there. Damn it! I didn't block in time. Hey, he moved me out of the way of that attack. That works. The katanas have a really good, like, uh, alternate attack that does, um, it's like a quick draw, but it does really heavy burst damage. Alright, we need to take out these damn things first. Switch over my big ass hammer. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Two of them in one hit. Damn, that damage, son. Are they all down? Are we just on the Carlo Belbrandarber? I just want to get behind these things. Damn it. Stop backing up. Take my giant love hammer. Yeah. I'm doing considerably less damage with this thing now. There is one of those damn things left. One of the small ones, too. I don't know how it made it out. There's a good hit. Gotta grind for parts. While also getting my ass handed to me. Right. Time for spear. Stab him. Screw him up. Jeez, we kicked that thing's ass. That went very well. Okay. We do it. How's the video quality, by the way, you guys? Hopefully the video quality's alright. I think it is. I always worry about dropped frames when streaming in high def. Problem is, I think I'm also having a uh, frame rate issue on uh, the X split side as well. I could be wrong, but I'm not sure. I've got such a weird Frankenstein setup. I should have an Elgato, but I've got an old Hoppage HD PVR uh, video recorder that I use for 1080. And I think it does up to 1080 60, um, but I've never been able to confirm it. And I don't know how I would actually confirm it, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, experience increase. We'll do another quick one. We'll do a couple more quickens. Quickens! Yay, we did it. Is that Gutsco? No, that's somebody other than Gutsco. Hey, I'm level 15. I'm 15! I'm legal in the state of... Hawaii, I think, or is that old? One of the sta one of them, it's fourteen. No, there, there's reasons I know that that aren't as creepy as how it sounds. Shut up. <laughs> so yeah, after showing my ass fighting those corals, you bet I'm going to. Knock out a bunch of uh, quick ones here to get my uh, store of upgrade items back. Hmm. Strange. Okay. Here we go. Back in town. Got any stuff yet? Nope, no stuff yet. It's kind of annoying. 
Alright. I'm gonna go right into another... I'm gonna go right into another fight. Hey, Netflix is up. I'm checking stocks while waiting for stuff to happen on the internet. We've done that one already. I've done that one already on stream. Let's do... This is a motherfucker. I might try this at the end of the at the end of the stream, but let's do some other ones really quick. Like literally just grinding for power and just grinding for crafting items. Oh, set like that long enough. Kitty's coming to the screen. Where'd you go, cat? Come here, little asshole. Come on, kitty. Come on, come on, jump onto the stream. Kitty! Look, it's a kitty, oh my god! Good kitty. Yes, you're such a good Mr. Kitty Cat. Just the one, meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Meow. I'm exposing my pussy on stream. I hope you guys like it. God! That sounds as bad as I intended it to. Bye, kitty. Thank you for shoving your asshole in my face. I guess my lap didn't look good enough to sit in. Whatever. Whatever! Whatever, man! Screw it! Man, my hit point percentage went way down with that... Uh... Mm. Delicious. Well, way down with that drop in uh, stuff. So this one's kind of tough. Because um, you basically spend the fight chasing bombs around. And trying to stop them from blowing up on the damn... The good news is at my level... I can kind of one-shot them. Because they this is a defense mission. If they destroy that thing, I'm fucked. I should be alright. Switch over to the katana. For some reason, the katana does really good against these flams. Plan. There we go. I don't know what got me there. So one of the annoying things about these plan is they can go invulnerable. The good news is they're thunder ones, so I should be getting stuff to... Uh, Upgrade my katana, name of which escapes me right now. Damn, son. Come on, we gotta get the last one before it explodes. I'm actually doing, like, surprisingly well. Normally I have trouble with this. Uh, just because those bombs, if you don't take them out right away, they'll just run right up and explode. And that causes problems, obviously. Okay, now we get the bigger ones. We want to stop from exploding. There we go. Got that one. Damn it. Jesus! I warped right into the explosion. Come on, kill it. Yes! Alright, we're having problems over here. Damn it. He got knocked out of his attack. I was trying to get a, uh, a perfect, perfect parry on him. This one I'll do it. Oh no, I killed him. Uh, that one's dead. Now for the real fight. It's one of these bastards. An actually incredibly cool... Um, like, 
samurai oni enemy. Oh shit, he stabbed me to death. Oh. There we go. Hit him. Hit him. Yeah, fuck. Ooh. He he he's got a lot of really damaging attacks that he doesn't necessarily teleport. If he does teleport it, it's not in a way that I've been able to figure out yet. Damn, he fucked me up. We got him. See the one guy egging him on? That was awesome. We did it. Teleport for no reason. Waste all my MP healing. It doesn't do anything. Yes, particle effects. Can we slow down? Yeah. We're doing all right. We're doing okay, you guys. We're doing pretty good at this whole kicking all the enemies' asses shit. So that was a quick one, but those bomb fragments I think are going to be uh, uh, integral for leveling that uh, katana more, which I want to do. Hey girl, you're so photogenic, girl. You got a really nice jacket too, girl. A lot of the characters in this game are like stupidly well dressed. Yeah, I got big ass steak. I like it. Oh, just my shirt. Oh yeah, you gonna cook for me again? What do we got? Only one storm shard, which is fine, and then thunder bomb fragments, which is what I came here for. So we'll see if we can't. Excuse me. We'll see if we can't push that thing over the edge here. Uh, when we get back to town, hopefully we'll also have uh, uh, the timed reward thing. Hopefully we'll have one of them. And then we'll go back and do a couple more things and then unlock the next major outpost. And maybe some other stuff at this rate. Because you get a fair amount of... You get a fair amount of... Uh, meteor shards, which is what you use to generate electricity. You get a, a fair amount of them for completing these missions. And if you grind out like four of them, you can unlock either one large thing or a couple smaller things. And um, there's a couple really large things that take like 60,000 to, to complete. And you're getting like between three and five per mission. Yeah. I can't think. Hey, we did get some stuff. Look at this. Donations received. We got, hey, we got some uh, electricity. Yeah, buddy. I will do that. So once you unlock the other major outposts, you can actually take a truck to them to go hang out, um, which is something we will do later. Also. All right. Chizuru. Flan ooze. Flan ooze is not enough. Shit. Okay, storm shard is what we need. Holy shit. Because it has, like, no experience, but it does... Yes! Alright, we're going to be able to upgrade this thing. We got this. Alright, so after this we'll switch to... Galvanate Fragment gets 2%. That's not bad. That's actually a much better uh, Storm Shard Fragment thing that we had there. Alright, where's what I'm looking for? Let's see. Oh, wow. Those Coral Whiskers are uh, fantastic. Hell yeah, we're going to jam that in there. 60% increase to Thunder Attacks is really good. Alright, do I want to 
further increase the thunder thing or do I want to increase like damage I probably want to increase like damage or hit points giant crab pincers is good yes I'm going very slowly through this since I only have like one or two of these really good items but it'll pay off here it's already paying off because it already now does more damage than the spear I like so much Shit. Screw it. We'll jam the jam a rough shell in there. All right, here we go. Here it comes. Oh my god. Hard skill will put us over. Weapon will be completely remodeled. Oh look, it turned into an even golder thing. That cannot be upgraded anymore. I think I carry like I can still level it up and make it better for sure. But the benefit that I'm getting from it is much smaller. This thing actually turns you into like a lightning casting like badass and the attack bonus isn't bad either it's almost halfway to where my uh, big warhammer is with 200 cents. actually it's a hundred off so this thing has now become my best weapon basilisk plumage is really good Damn, the, uh, the magic increase on this is nuts. This is a hell of a weapon. This is, this is the best weapon I've made so far. Got a little bit more to get it up to... Damn, that antique coin's pretty good too. Yeah, buddy. Alright, we've almost upgraded this all the way, and then from here it's just mission after mission after mission, and I'll worry about the... You find anything good out there? Yeah, alright. Anyways, I'll worry about the, uh, the spear after several missions. Majestic Main. Nope. Ice Bomb Fragment. Nope. Thunder Bomb Fragment. Not Carapace. Screw it. I'll jam a, pr jam a prawn antenna in there. Alright, so its properties are Stormbound. Standard attacks inflict lightning type elemental damage. And it does Thundara. Holy shit, this is a great weapon. This was an excellent use of my time. I don't care, shut up. Alright, let's do... Let's do this escort mission. You get a ton of halfway decent upgrade items here. Actually, I'm not going to lie, they're kind of shit, but... They're okay. The experience you get here and the 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 uh, storm shards, meteor shards that you get are really good. <clears throat> but I just want to try out this uh, absolutely badass. Like, look at my magic, two hundred thirty-two. I'm try this absolutely badass katana. Uh, yeah, fine, whatever. I'll grab something here in the fight. Depart. Jenica, Tobel, and Gutsko. I think Gutsko and Gripeth, Gripeth, Griffith Corp should come together and create products. Become the Berserk Saibatsu. I'm sorry. It's terrible. 
real bad. There are a lot of really cool customization options. Give me a second. Shit, the damage I'm doing. And the attack it does is, like, just fast enough to catch these smaller guys. Those bees are actually a problem. Look at the frame rate fucking disappear. Yo, Thundara's the shit. <laughs> I am Dog of Thunder. Lightning and struck his ass out of midair. It's kind of badass. We're doing it, you guys. Look at this. Yeah, buddy. The uh, point warp on this is totally busted. Because, like, look at how far away she is. Just boop. Right back up. I actually love that from a gameplay uh, standpoint. Should really be using my crossbow on these guys. Damn it. Getting hit by those charge attacks they do. Come on, keep hitting them. Those guys are putting in work on these killer bees. I just don't want to fight these fucking airborne things. I feel... I... Okay, none of them are attacking me. Shit, this one's attacking me. And I didn't get my block up in time, damn it. Can't hit me when I'm casting Force Lightning on everybody. Unlimited power. Yes, I'm a child. Look at that sexy truck. Too much chrome on that truck, girl. I'm just gonna go for a jog. Oh shit, they're already there. Yeah! That hit. Like, the alternate attack on the on the 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 katanas is this crazy 180 degree in front of you, like burst damage quick draw attack. That will break pieces off of anything. Buddy. Cindy says I'm amazing. And this isn't even my final form. Yeah, get those heavy attacks in there. Oh wow, I actually took a hit from something. Probably this bullet here. Things like a giant murder armadillo. It's like an armadillo crossed with a fucking dinosaur. Like there there are like rhino allegories in this game. Actually the bullets might be the rhino allegories. Stop honking your horn at me, woman. I'm busy. 
Yeah, you do. Grab us some fresh tripe. Use that for a yummy dinner. I tried to point warp. There we go. I didn't hold the button down long enough. Hey, y'all. Take my love! <laughs> Jeez, that thing got fucking destroyed. Yeah, get that blindside hit in on there. That's what I'm talking about. I'm fully expecting one of these guys to charge at me here. Damn it. I didn't get the big hit block like I wanted. Probably fine. And that Thundara spot does a ton of damage. It'll be really interesting to see how much of a buff this weapon actually gives me when I get to later levels where all my stats are just naturally higher. Yeah, you're not gonna run into me now. Hey y'all! Stuck in the same animation? Look at how pretty everybody looks. Several bosses have appeared. Oh, the coral is a problem. Especially since I do less damage to it with this weapon. So I'm going to focus on the Saber Claws. Save the Coral for last. You know, for doing less damage to it, it's still doing... I'm still doing a fair amount of damage to this thing. Like, I'm knocking it around like it's nothing. I'm knocking it around like it's a stuffed animal, man. Okay, the coral's surprisingly down. Because they do lightning damage. They are lightning-type enemies. So, like, this weapon shouldn't be very good against them. However, it seemed to do just, just fine at that level. It almost makes me wonder if I shouldn't try the other coral thing again. Hey, we did it. We beat it. Explosion! Hey, there's people! Let's just deuce out. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. You can't stop me. I'm gonna get as far as I can. You can't stop me! I'm leaving! I'm going rogue! Fuck all y'all! I'm out of here! Damn it. And they were right behind me, like, come back! Time for a water break. Delicious. Drink your water, kiddos. Man, that sword is surprisingly fantastic. Alright, what you making for me? I'm skipping the animation. Fuck it. Ooh, look at the skewers. Awful. Increases experience points by 10%. I don't know if that applies for right now or later. I think it applies for right now. Why are we in the ground? Wait. What? That's not supposed to be there. Like, clearly... Clearly that is in the wrong place. Holy shit. That's wild. We bugged out Final Fantasy XV! Oh! <laughs> Plunged into darkness and overrun with demons! Hope is waning. A ragtag band of hunters and remnants of the Royal Kingsglaive band together to fight for the light. These brave men and women risk their lives on a variety of missions. 
scouring the land for meteor shards they can use to generate electricity and restore power to the continent. There's no stakes to it. It's just like here. It's for fun. But really, there's no stakes to it. There's no like... <laughs> Scratch my nose. Like your character doesn't die. And we've got more donations, which in this case is going to be items. Beast bone, which are really good. Is that it? Nope, thick hide. What else you got? What else you got? That's it. Okay. Fine. That's fine by me. Shut up, Viv. I don't care about the photos right now. Alright, can I send this power over? I think I do have enough, yeah. Transmission complete. Urgent Robo Resurrection. Uh-oh. So I have to do that in order to get power over here to Kothus. Okay. Got 14k. There's another place I can send power. Terrible Treant. And a person okay let's do it all right let's light it up i unlocked a boy refugees have been escorted and they've banded together at maldaccio hunter headquarters let's go over and see what they got going on at maldaccio it'll be hopefully relatively quick getting in and out no i've never seen little ma buddy Shut up about little mall buddy. I bet the joke. Yes, I know. So let's go to Maldaccio. So, um, one of the cool things about this multiplayer is that the characters from the main game, Ignis, Gladio, Prompto, they show up in town and you can fight them. Currently, Ignis is hanging out in town and he's blind as shit and all he does is crazy area of effect magic dam or magic attacks that do ridiculous amount of damage that I can't fucking do anything about. Because he'll just sit there and tank a couple hits and go and blow you up. And it's like, oh, there goes two thirds of my health. There goes another two thirds of my health. There goes another two. Oh, I'm dead. I tried to heal and he blew me up. Tried to get an attack in, he blew me up. I think they do heal themselves too. So eventually, that that's a thing you can do. Eventually. Gladio was fucking easy. Prompto was fairly easy. Is that Biggs and Wedge? Who are them boys? These are people I say. That's not Biggs and Wedge. It's random motherfuckers. So it's a shopkeep and two military officers, yeah? Let's elect a leader. Select a refugee to lead the outpost. <clears throat> Devin Elkton, self-taught smith, specializing in unorthodox method. His work is popular among up-and-coming hunters. Reward, trading post opening. Former Imperial mercenary. It is Biggs. It's Biggs and Wedge. Awesome. Former Imperial mercenary with an optimistic outlook. Shares some of his gambling winnings with the city. Reward guild donations. Former Imperial mercenary with a tendency to worry. Willing to sell off munitions to make a few gil. Reward 20% Imperial discount. Does that mean a 20% discount on everything? Because that's... That's a no-brainer if that's the case. If not, then damn it. Hopefully it's a discount on everything. It's a discount with that guy. What does that guy sell? Where is that guy? Oh, he's over here. Okay. So it's a weapons dealer. What do you sell? You sell a big-ass axe that can't be upgraded. But the base attack is pretty good. You sell daggers with life drain... Is it hit points? Is hit points what you need to upgrade? Hit points is what you need to upgrade on these. So these can be upgraded. Uh, I'm not going to spend the money yet. The daggers is very intriguing. 
Very intriguing. Chrome bit, reflex enhancers. Okay, these are all important little bits of stuff we can buy. In fact, that's gonna help with the that's gonna help with the spear. Hell yeah, I'm gonna drop 10k on that. Oh, you can get imperial shit. That's uh kind of really interesting. Screw it, I'll buy some crappy gloves. Hell, I'll put them on, too. Take off these weird fingerless gloves I got going on. Alright, time to get back to town and take a look at that stuff. Holy hell. That's, uh... A discount on those could actually end up being really good for me in the long run for leveling up the stuff I want to level up. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think I'm going to try that big-ass boss. I think I'm going to try it. I think I'm going to do one more mission. I think I'm going to do the upgrade, do one more mission, and then try a big-ass boss. I'm feeling probably overconfident, but I'm feeling confident. It's making me an excite. Oh, no. Did I screw up? Scratch my nose. That is me. Come on, load. I want a load. Big load. Give me the big load. I'm sorry for talking about big loads. Oh man, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to get my spear mo better. You ever seen the mo better big spears. Big spears for big boys. Avatar. Edit. Throw big dumb armor gloves on. Go terrible with my shirt. Let's see, how bad does this look? Oh, it's so stupid. I love it. <laughs> I'm an abomination. <laughs> oh, that's fun. That's funny. I can appreciate my abomination in this. God, with those big elbow pads. <laughs> right, there was nothing else to upgrade there. Honey kitty. Be dealing with fire damage. I'm not worried about that yet. This was the heavy lance. You find anything good out there? No, we can't do it. Actually, I might be able to do it. I need something that does good defense. Six hundred, though. 440, okay. So what if I throw this on? I think we can do it. I think we can do it. I think we're gonna upgrade it. Oh my god. Come on. Come on. Yeah, that'll do it. Air supremacy sounds sick. Yes, complete remodel. Let's do it. Come on. Knight's Lance. It lowered the damage a bit, but... It has Air Supremacy and Crusher. What does Crusher do? Damage output increases by 30% when targeting enemy appendages. Damage output increases by 10% when attacking in midair. So attack an appendage while in midair. Got it. You find anything good out there? Screw it. What if I throw the rest of my chrome bits into it? Okay, that's... Uh, that's pretty good. That's a pure damage weapon at that point. 
which adds a lot of extra hit points too. Wow. Okay. I'm feeling fairly confident with that thing. That's um that's a good lance. Oh, wrong so button. Long. Let's switch away. Oop. That heavy lance to that night lance. So we got night lance does 198. A badass thunder katana that does 210. Big ass hammer does like 230. And this piece of shit. Actually, I think I can upgrade that piece of shit. More upgrading, you guys. Just the piercing bow. Okay. Got her all tuned up needs attack and magic. I have something that does that right now. Maybe not. Yeah, there's no way that's getting upgraded, especially not now. Okay, that's fine. Fubuki, don't need to worry about that. A lot of those ones that upgrade from elemental damage are, like, specifically built around casters. And I'm not a caster. I'm probably not a caster. Alright, save the souvenirs is a good one. You get to fight a big-ass behemoth. Terrible Treant. And then it caught this Robo-Resurrection. Ooh, we'll try this. Fight a big ass robot. Thank you. Do be careful. Ugh. I'm gonna run to the ladies' room really quick. Bear with me, please. All right. Oh. Thanks for bearing with me. Let's go. I have a feeling this one's going to kick my ass, so let's grab a mystery meat tin and take Captain Elbow Pads on a massive murder adventure. Mm. Excuse me. Shit, I'm level 15. That didn't quite occur to me until right now. All right, I'm excited to try out that new lance, and the lightning katana is going to do really, really good against um, um, mechanical enemies. So, I think I think this one's going to be in our favor. Oh, kind of worried about this. Several bosses. Shit, there's two. Oh yeah, I do a ton of damage. Look at that! Oh my god! 
Oh, this thing is nothing. A Nidus has appeared. Oh, there's a... Uh... Chain Warp initiated. Yes! I stopped its attack. And you just hit this thing with Warp Strike after Warp Strike. Maybe not. I gotta find that damn Midas. And I gotta get away from these fucking grenades. Holy shit. That's the thing. These things are trouble. Because they, they're just demon spawners. There we go. Yes! Chain War! Yes! This is a good fight! We're fucking doing it! Yeah! Come on, try and step on me, you bastard! There's another Nidus? Where is it? There it is. Yeah. Wow, one of them went down. My AI teammates took one of them out while I was fighting the... I fucking love that spear, you guys. Hey, we got it. Look at that. Look at that. We do it. I'm going to get away from that oil. Because that happens. Oh my god, you guys got trapped in the explosion. Oh my god, here you go. That went pretty damn well. That was, uh... Cool. We'll be able to, uh... We'll be able to restore power to Kothis now. Captain Elbow Pads has saved the Kothis outpost with his elbow pads. Wish I could get like a bicycle helmet next. <laughs> a big stupid bicycle helmet. I love it. I love the idea of that. I love how stupid that sounds. Oh, scratch. So one of the really interesting things about having access to weapon upgrades is that you can min-max weapon upgrades based on stuff. Uh, you can min-max them by basically raising attributes way before you're supposed to. Because like if I use those chrome bits on that um, on that spear before I had to, I could have gotten it a lot closer to its second upgrade before I had to worry about it. Hey, I'm level 16. I'm 16. I'm legal in most southern states, I think. I know it's 16 in Florida. I used to have to give briefings on who not to have sex with in the military. That's why I know those things. Used to have to go up to the kids. The, not the kids. I had to, you had to go up to the young military people and I had to be like, Hey! Sixteen is legal in this state, but it's still eighteen in the military. So even if they tell you they're legal, don't fucking trust them. Get that ID first. There's somebody else who did it. Uh, did those briefings. Uh, who was a bad public speaker. And I remember at one time she, in front of a group of like 60 or 70 people, said no means no unless you're 18. Um, which, uh, think, think about the implications of that. So if it's 18, it's cool. If she's screaming no, you just go for it. Yeah. That's what they said, not me. I'm not condoning... 
Shut up. Man, I got fat ass. Not as fat as Viv's ass here, but you know. What? <laughs> okay. That's funny to me. Oh yeah, I look like a badass. Fuck yeah. Cool guys look at explosions. Fighting that big bastard. Okay, cool. He'll get rid of all those photos and jam new photos into us now. Hmm. Nah, we're good. Send power. What do you say? Twenty six hundred. Hell yeah, we'll have plenty. Hey, we can finally unlock Cothus now. Woohoo! New outpost. It's what? Black-haired witch's fault. She's the one who told the marshal and everyone to call it off. I was there. Move your lips when you talk. I don't know what. What is a black witch? down here. No rewards for getting that one. Hmm. Some of these I feel like, what's the point of doing this one at this point, right? Hmm. I've got 6k to play with. If I do that one, I'll get 2k, so there's... Here we go, we'll get another person. Matteo Marchesi. Yeah! We gotta do it! Safely escorted to Old Listalum. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah! Because they're in the Old Listalum area, that's why. So I wonder if you can have multiple ones in multiple places. Like, I wonder if grabbing people from over here means there's now more people in Old Listalum to band together. I don't know. Maybe y'all know. Alright. It's time to do something stupid. I can barely keep up with you. Let's fight the secret experiment. Level 23. An unidentified species of demon has been sighted in Klein. Klein. Yeah. Klein. Klein? Klein, probably. According to the testimony of a former Imperial officer, the creature is likely a test subject that escaped from Fort Valere. The glaive is tasked with eliminating this failed experiment before harm befalls old Lestalum. You don't get much considering how badass this thing is. And I fought it before, and it pushed my poo in. It was icky. It was an icky poo pushing. I didn't like it. So here's hoping we can actually do some good damage to it. I'm I'm wondering if thunder attacks from that katana are going to be really good against it. Because if not, my ass is going to be teleporting all over the place with that spear. Because the damage difference is negligible if it doesn't take elemental damage. Um. Actually, the damage is probably not negligible, to be perfectly honest. Give me a can of something. Can of fish! Got some fish! Camp! Park. Alright, wish me luck, guys. This is gonna suck. gonna suck hopefully we'll do hopefully it'll be all right because I'm considerably stronger than the last time I tried this I think the last time I tried this I was like level 9 or 10 and you got its health down a fair amount gotta fight these little fuckers first
God damn. Yeah, we got a good, good hit in. And I want to take out as many of these as possible. Because they're going to spawn more of them in when they spawn in the main bad guy. And I do not want to be dealing with them when the big bad comes in. Because holy shit. That's a bad gig. Is there another one around here? What's taking so long? Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'm gonna break you, boy. That Omni Guard is pretty good. Because it's just a really good personal defense that um, adds defense to your teammate's guard. So if you were to get in there and guard, you would be able to block heavier hits. Hits that would normally knock you out of your guard. Yeah, you ain't shit. I mess you up. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Where are you at? Shit, there he is. This thing's a badass. Try to stay the fuck away from that. It's got all sorts of ridiculous AoE spells. Okay, it's taking... It seems to be taking increased damage from this, and I'm doing a lot better than the last time I tried this. My... My, uh... Defense is so damn high. I want to take out these little fuckers. Because they're... They're gonna cause problems for all of my boys. Like, the fact that I can tank his hits so well... Shit! Ooh. I can't tank that. Holy shit. Y'all gonna pick me up, motherfuckers? Damn it. I lost almost all of my health because of that. Are you gonna spin around and hit me? Okay. Taking care of all the distractions. I'm gonna hit you with my big ass hammer. That does. That does an okay amount. Come on, pick me up. See, this guy can wipe an entire team immediately. Fuck! How did that hit me from back here? Yes! Chain Warp. This is what we want. This is what we want.
Oh shit! So we are actually... Shit! Oh, I missed it! Yes! Damn it, I couldn't turn it around in time. So this is where the problem happens, is... Damn it, I tried to heal. And I can't, I can't pick these guys up. And I don't know how to use the item. Greetings, getting ready, strategizing, combat chat. How do I use the item in my damn inventory? I don't know. I don't know how to use it. Shit, I worked right into that. Come on, we gotta hit him. Damn it. Fucking AoE spells. Come on, we're so close to beating this fucking thing. We're gonna get this. It's gonna be tough, but I think we can... Shit. Yes! Yes! We do it! Yeah! Did he drop anything? Doesn't look like it. Fresh tripe everywhere. Fresh tripe and mystery meat and fine wheat. Huh. We did it. How cool is that? I'm happy. <laughs> I, I, did, I did everything. <laughs> Jenica is good at support. Jenica took the least damage. Welcome back. All right. What are you going to give me? You going to give me a bunch of stuff? Ooh. Fish sandwich. Actually, that looks goddamn delicious. So how much experience am I getting from this? I would hope a lot. Not too much. But I think... Got Armor of Discord, Anti-Confusion. That's really strong. Combosmosis. Combosmosis, I guess. I need to fight more of them because that's what I need for the bow that I have. All right, we damn did it. Did I check out the new outpost yet? I don't think I did. I think I'm going to go do that. That's what I'm feeling right now. Hopefully you are, too. This has been a pretty good stream. Done a bunch of BS. All kind of worked out okay. We only failed one thing. Only one failure. Me. I'm the failure. 
ha, ha, ha. Oh, itch. Making from scratch California burritos tonight. So after this, my ass is walking to the store to pick up some stuff to make some nice, like, pickled garlic chipotle guacamole. It's really good. Ah, delicious water. I don't care about your conversations. I should be running. I'm wasting time. Oh, stop bouncing into shit. Caught this depot. Haven't been there yet. <laughs> All right. Diminished to a trickle with the coming of the long night, but folks still stop by now that the old warehouse has been repurposed as a supply shelter for glaives and hunters out on missions. Cool. Read that for another six minutes while it loads. Yeah. Whew. I'm feeling pretty low energy. I've done a lot of this today. I've done two hours of streaming, hours of recording, video editing. I've done a ton of stuff today. A ton of video related things. Oh wow, they don't even let your ass outside. You're just inside of the hangar now. How are you Kill today? is not required at the trading post. Barter items for new ones that catch your eye. A man bun? No, maybe. Kernix uniform. Chino pants. Oh my god, so stylish. Standard boots, chocobo suit. You have to trade it for gorgeous pelt, downy feathers, and cactar blossom. Unaddressed letter. The giffin, griffin feather. Seems to be a letter from a glaive to their close friend. Okay, this place is interesting, because now there's more stuff to do where you can trade items for interesting items. Welcome. Oh, it's the same thing here. Dancing daggers. Attack 44. Oh, look at that. This thing's got to be nuts. Look at the upgrade requirements on that. You've got to get every one of those up to 20. Mortal Aegis. Death proof. Jitterbug. What is Jitterbug? Performs a dance when casting a curative spell. Are you fucking kidding me? That's amazing. Death proof. Defense instant. Death. Squeaky hammer. Stop touch X. Standard attacks have a small chance of stopping enemies in their tracks for three seconds. That's really important. But this is dumb. This is a joke weapon because it's a squeaky hammer. It's going to be one of those hammers when you hit something and it goes, ah, eh. And nameless blade. Behemoth Tears and Marlboro Mucilage. Rush damage. Damage output it increases by 1% with each consecutive strike, maxing out at 10 or 100%. That's nuts. So you can do double damage if you go high enough. And it starts off with a ton of damage. That is, uh, that is an amazing weapon. Holy shit. Thank you kindly. Let's see, what else is going on here? People hanging out. Is that really all that you can do here? That's kind of disappointing to be... I'm being completely honest here. Huh. Whatever. Alright. Let's head back to La Stalem. So I think that's a pretty good place to end the stream. We ended with a big fat fucking fight and then a wet fart of exploration. Uh, thanks guys for coming out. I appreciate everybody who came and hung out with me today. Uh, I'm Jeff. This is my channel. If you liked what you saw here, you should follow us so that you can get updates on when we're going to be having new streams and stuff like that. 
Uh, but most importantly, more importantly, um, down below there's a link to our YouTube page. On the YouTube page you can find archives of our old streams, uh, full Let's Plays, one-off videos, uh, reviews. Um, I've been doing a lot of backwards compatible reviews for Xbox One backwards compatibility lately. Uh, there's a lot of good stuff over there to watch if you want to catch more. Um, you should subscribe over there. Um, also below you can find our Twitter where there are updates for new videos and uh, stream announcements before the streams happen. Uh, that's, uh, that's where you want to go for that. So, hey, thanks everybody who came out. I hope to see you next time.